And our expert in elder law, Gary Price, is here to explain the number one, the number one misconception. There are several <laughs> surrounding are several. Medicaid in Indiana. Good to see you, hey, Gary. Good to see you. So we've talked about these myths and misconceptions, but what is the, the number one biggie that tops the list? Yeah, so, you know, I, I was given some thought to that because a lot of people, and I go based on what people tell me the most. I hear a lot about they're going to take my home, and we know that's not true. Medicaid's not going to take your home. That you got to spend all all your money before you're eligible. We know right. that's not true. You don't have to spend all your money before you're eligible. That if I give a gift, then I got to wait five years. That's not true. The number one misconception, or maybe the number one mistake, is is when you don't even give consideration to any of that. You dismiss Medicaid immediately, believing that you make too much money or you've got too much resource or stuff. There are so many people that mistakenly believe because they're, you know, we talk about Medicaid for the middle class or upper class right, for that matter, right. uh, uh, that they automatically are not eligible for Medicaid and they don't even, they don't even look into it. They just, just, like I said, they just dismiss it. And when you do that, you know, now here's what happens. A few months down the road after paying 8,000 a month to 11,000 a month, they start questioning, you know, it gets old real quick. Yeah. But that's three or four months. They, maybe they didn't have to pay that. Everyone needs to consider. They need to look at their particular inst instance and determine whether or not they're eligible based upon their resources. And I suspect they are. And I suspect that that, that is a true misconception when they think, ah, I, I don't qualify. So what do you think is the genesis of that sort of myth that Medicaid is for the underprivileged or uh, people in the lower financial bracket, right. whatever that. I mean, it's out there. There's no doubt about it. That's why you keep hearing about it. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and they still think that, that it's for the indigent. Right. That's what they always think. It's not. It is to assist those who need certain care, be it long-term care, be it in-home care. That's what Medicaid's for. It's a supplement for that. It's not necessarily for the indigent. Yeah, you have resource rules and you have income rules, but there's also rules to overcome those requirements or restrictions. So it's not for the indigent. That's an incorrect um, that's a misconception right. as to what Medicaid is for. So when people come to you and they're doing their estate planning, do you broach the subject first? Because um, if they don't think it's for them, they're not going to ask you, typically. Yeah, I, I usually do. Um, usually do. Now, somebody comes in to see me and they're, they, they just had a child, they're in their 20s or 30s, maybe I don't approach sure, right. it then. But yeah, for for someone over 50 years old, I, I bring it up. If that's an issue, let's talk about it. If it's not, let's not. Let's not. Well, I mean, it may be something that we all need and better to, I mean, you really have opened my eyes about this, to at least have it on your radar because mm -hmm. it, you don't know when you're going to that's need right. a nursing facility of some kind. It, you know, the, so most, you know, the people in the 50s, they, most everybody knows somebody that has gone through sure. this process and it's on their mind. And so they do have questions. They may not be, uh, you know, may not be keeping them awake at night. But they do have questions, and, and we try to answer them. How much of that is discussed in the book, Gary? Um, as far as, well, the, the rules are discussed. And, it, and, and basically, there are no limitations as to what your resource is or what your income is. So it's discussed in the book as to how we would go about getting you qualified regardless of your resource amount. So that's one the, another one of the reasons to get that free book, which is how do you get it? You call my office, 812-475-8444. Like you said, we send you a free copy. Have that conversation. You'll be glad you did. Thanks, Gary. Thank you. More Lifestyles for you right after this. Stay with me.